This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Um, it's it, it's funny because we've got fans already that have you know Josh Boyer fired, and it's you're playing with cornerbacks five, six, and seven out there. One is not even 100% an X. You saw him on that last play. He was burned. The guy dropped the ball. And they burned him for the touchdown and all that. I mean, they, they attack X nowadays. And he's he's not healthy. He's not himself. Number two has been out all year. Number three, Nick Needham is done for the year. Number four is Trill Williams. People forget. So now you're at number five, six, and seven, and eight corners that you're dealing with. You're gonna have all kinds of pass, pass it, 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 you know, pass issues, breakups, misunderstandings back there, mix-ups. Your strong safety is now your backup safety because Brandon Jones is gone, who helps you in the run game and the and and pass rush and coverage. The kid does it all. I love how you people make it sound like Josh Boyer is going to overcome all that shit. And I go to my Twitter page. Uh, by the way, pull it up. Sean, do me a favor, pull up my Twitter page and pull up the play that Justin Fields runs for 60 something, 70 yards on third and six and oh, fire Josh Boyer. Dude, sometimes you're facing a nasty individual that you can't catch and you can't catch Tyreek. Well, guess what? Justin Fields is like that and you're killing Josh Boyer. And meanwhile, I'll show you pictures because I slowed it down and, and, and took shots of it. Several dolphins have opportunities. It's not like the wrong play was called. It's just that it's hard to execute it against the guy that makes your play look stupid. Justin Fields. Give the kid credit. He's a hell of an athlete. But those of you that want to fire Boyer, I mean, he, he's not. That's why they had to trade for Chubb, because he doesn't have everything. So look, enlarge those pictures. You'll see. Right there. You've got, I don't know, let me see if we can take the uh, other one off there so you guys can see it. Oh, where we, oh, here we go. All right, so there you go. So you've got, you've got, you've got uh, one player here. Now go to the next picture. Right there. He's right there. Now you've got another one chasing him, one here and one here, Duke Riley, right? As he's breaking out of the pocket and past the line of scrimmage. Next picture. As he gets to the next level, here he is. He, he got past those guys. Here's another guy. They're all there. How the hell do you blame Josh Boyer? Thank you, Sean. You, you can't blame Josh Boyer. I mean, X is, is in charge of covering that guy at the end. That guy dropped the ball. Is that Josh Boyer's fault? That X is playing not at 100%? Is it Josh Boyer's fault that he has to play with Keon fouling crossing? And he got away with stuff with Clay, Claypool at the end. But that's what you have when you have a, a seventh corner playing and he's really not a starting corner. But you guys want to make chicken shit out of chicken salad. I mean, chicken salad out of chicken shit. And you can't do that, my man. You can't. I'm sorry. The corners don't just fall off trees. I know my man Omar Kelly likes to think that corners fall off trees, but they don't fall off trees. And there's a fall off from the guys that were starting to the guys you have now. And Eric Rowe is never going to replace Brandon Jones. Not even in his dreams can he do it. I told you guys Eric Rowe is inconsistent against receivers and running backs for the last week that everybody was, oh, well, Eric Rose should be active. No, he's not very good. He's He he has his moments against tight ends, not against receivers and running backs. He struggles in those areas. He is no Brandon Jones. They have no Brandon Jones. You know what you have to be as a Dolphin fan? Be freaking grateful, man. They're 6-3. and three. They're 6-0 and oh when Tua starts and ends a game. That's all that matters, man.